So now look at Everton. They're going to turn down certain bids and they're going to say, we've got money. We don't need your money now. Money now. Money now. Money now. Pink, I am Poet, and to the left is David Vujanic. And this is Comments Below, the show where you leave your comments below, and some of them are awful. Some of them are great. And there's an epic moment in this show, and guess what, big man, it only goes. Comments of the week we discussed last week. No, that is not what we discussed, and it is actually two twos. Hashtag two twos. It's the remix this week on social. Speaking about Olympics, Football League has started, and next week, can I just tell you, Vuj, the Premier League. Yes! The Premier League is back! Next back week, the, pre the Premier League is back. It's back. I'm so gassed, I'm wearing sandals. Sat Burke and the Jesus crap. And I'm so gassed. It's a holy week. It's I'm a holy week. Nike socks with Reebok trainers. You're just moving separate right now. Mixed race crap, cuz. In very, relationship. very separate. And Liverpool are obviously going to win the league because we beat Barcelona 4 0. Let's go into some stuff. Kim Gumby says, up is down, left is right. Snapchat is on Instagram, that is fucking out of order. And Liverpool are beating Barcelona 4-0. But then yesterday, they lost 4-0 to Mainz. So yeah. what does it even mean? But beating Barcelona 4-0, and the goals we scored, dispossessing, you know, Barca in the midfield, just going for it up top, and playing confidently. 4-0, Grich's goal, that header was just fantastic. Liverpool, I'm, I'm excited. Because going forward, just don't know what's going to happen. So much direct... Players, I think direct. Jordan Henderson's gonna actually benefit from playing with teams, with players, sorry, like Mane and so on and so forth, because I think he had a lot of responsibility. Um, he has for the last two seasons of thinking that he's, you know, st to Steven Gerrard, he's not. So now the beauty of it is when he gets the ball, he's got players that can do all the forward running for him. He's gonna give it to a man like Mane or Coutinho or Firmino or Sturridge or Origi. Players that I feel play the clock way. I'm actually very, very scared of the opening mm. game. And now you're looking at it going, look, we've got no Europe. We've got the Prem, got the FA Cup, got obviously the League Cup. We're going to win the league. Two twos now. I want you lot to leave comments and let us know what you think about Liverpool's chances in the Premier League. Can you compete for the title race? Can you actually win the title? You've got no Europe. And a couple of seasons ago, you actually done really well without having Europe as well. Leave a comment and let us know about your predictions and that as we move on nice. to things called the Charity Shield. Or is it a community shield? Whose oh. shield is it? Reddit um, 638 goes, what did you think about the charity shield? Mares was on a matting. He was not making anything. Fellaini basically was just there just to get nutmeg. Mares is a really, really, really good player. And despite the fact that Leicester City lost, Leicester City looked better than Man United. The reason why I think Leicester City though, for me, just they looked so dangerous going forward. Damari Gray came off the bench and Musa came off the bench and it just brought a whole new dynamic. They were giving Man United a lot of problems, a lot of problems. And yes, Man United won the game, but it was an element of luck to it. This league, this Premier League is going to be absolutely nuts. Can you guys just leave your comments telling us, hashtag Premier League, how excited you are for next week. And in general, all the leagues are going to be starting up you know, in this month, but I want to see your faces. But football actually domestically has started in England if you take a look at the championship and below. Ping Pongy says, lads, championship has kicked off. Who do you think will get promoted? Well, on Friday, a team that I believe was going to get promoted, Newcastle United. You've got man like True Geordie having to talk about championship football now. And he obviously opened it with them losing 1-0 to Fulham. Do you see that Donny that on the skill on his back? Yeah. Crossfield board knocking it off. Cuz disgusting. Championship is a good level right now. Fulham beating a very good Newcastle side with a manager that has achieved a lot in his career. So mm. who knows what can happen? Norwich had a good opening day. 4-1, cuz, away from home. I'm going to go for Fulham going up. Seriously? With Newcastle, yeah. I'm going for Newcastle. I believe Newcastle will definitely get promoted. Nottingham Forest, 
I'm going Fulham like Vooch. I think Aston Villa are going to flirt with Championship for a little while, man. They are absolute dogmas. But anyway, leave some comments to let us know who you think is going to be promoted and come back to the Prem. Could it be Aston Villa? Could it be Newcastle? Leave a comment and let us know as man them jump on the plane and go to Rio. Cuz read Olympic the comment. Olympic football! Brasilia94 says, thoughts of the Olympics. Brazil booed off their first game against South Africa and then drawing to Iraq. It's a bit of a weird one. I reckon the Brazil team are under pressure more than anyone else over there. Everybody else is just kind of enjoying it. However, my favourite part yes, I you to was see it, Hope right? Solo saying she was worried about the Zika virus. And now every time she takes a goal kick, the Brazilian crowd shout, Oh, Ooh, Zika! <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I want Iraq to win the whole tournament. If I want someone, it'll be them, my nation that's gone through a lot. Why not some happiness? And they're very passionate about playing for the national team. And I think it's going to be an outsider team that does win it, like a Nigeria. Basically, they were, on, they were in Brazil for four hours. Four yeah. hours. Their man have got jet lag, lag jet, everything. And they still went on the field and managed to be a Japanese side that apparently been there for a, a little while. Well done, Nigeria, man. Man no, like Mikel. Lag. Leave your comments. Hashtag Olympics. Who's going to yeah. win? Come on, man. All my nocturnals. Join me in watching <laughs> Olympic football. Why was a friendly broadcast on national television at 6 p.m.? Do you know football like, is I, mad? I just football's don't cool get now. It. But football's cool. It was a decent game, though. Did you watch it? No, it was 3 2, though. The game. Was hard. I can't, I can't play centre back. This is the problem with Manchester City right now. They are literally just trying to play football from back to front, and you can see the Pep Guardiola way is going to take a longer time to actually come in uh, and be at full effect than it did at, at the likes of Bayern Munich and Barcelona. Just because everyone's a baller there. Joe Hart was incredibly poor in the second half. Kolarov, he just looked like I don't know a sheep amongst just lions. Just Kolarov, just, just out, mate. Just. It just. Oh, leave yeah. the club. Man City were getting killed. Arsenal, immense support in uh, Gothenburg. Really nice to see our supporters in Sweden. Don't know all my Swedish. Viva, massive. Yeah, I'm happy with Arsenal right now. I'm happy with Xhaka. But Arsenal fans, let me know. Did you see Gabriel's injury? Very bad. Leave some comments and let us know what you think about Wenger's defensive crisis. Does he have to go to the transfer market now? And what does that 3-2 win against Man City mean in Scandinavia? To me, it means nothing. Money in football! AC Milan and West Brom have been bought by Chinese owners. You guys tell us if you're fans of those clubs, what you reckon? Can you win your leagues now? Mad team. Well, Vooj, hmm. it is time for you to use that wonderful mind of yours, that mind that has taught me so much about life. Mystic Vooj, are you here with me? Let's both do it. Let's do predictions for the season. And at the end of the season, we'll open them up and see who won. And the winner gives the other, other person 50 quid. That's poor, you know. Well, you'll be poorer when I beat you. <laughs> okay. Timzy! Hey, man! Timzy! How you been? You been good? I'm good. How's everything? How's life? It's, it's, it's good. Awesome. How's the family? How are the kids? Oh, yeah, they're fine. Okay, brilliant. All right, so me and Poet have made our predictions, which you're only going to find out about at the end of the season. But we want to find out right now yours. Leave your comments for EPL Top 4, EPL Relegation, UCL Final, UEFA Final. Those are the winners, I mean. La Liga winner, Serie A winner, Bundesliga winner, League One winner. Which new signing will have the best season? Which EPL team will get the most red cards? PFA Player of the Year. Who will be the dark horse in the Premier League? Who will be the first manager sacked? And how long will Leicester City be in the title race? That's month. I am putting these wonderful envelopes with my smiley face and rocket into the glory hole to never be touched until May. <laughs> Yo, Copper Fab, myself and David are nominated for an award, 2-2 Personality of the Year, the GRM Awards. Now, we want to win. Like, yeah. we really And they're called a rated awards, and I think we've accumulated so many ratings this year, it just makes sense that we're actually rated. Link to vote is in the description below. Have a nice. Transfers, 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 rumors, 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 rumors. Blue Mooner. Vuj, what do you think about Ter Stegen to Man City? Is he a better goalkeeper than Joe Hart? Oh, hell yeah. Anyone right now is better than Joe Hart. Get that lad out of that club. Where do you think Joe Hart will be transferred? Mars. Get that lad as far away from the England squad as we can. Mars. But this one, Poet. Mm. Hashtag Pogback. Hashtag Pogback. He's at United. 100 million. You know, he's been announced all over the social media. Or oh, apparently 89. Okay, 89 million. With some bonuses, it'll make 100. That is a lot of money. Yes, you have Mourinho as a manager. Fantastic. Let's take a look at his history. Porto. Best team in Portugal. He then goes to Chelsea with the most money in the Premier League. No one had money like Chelsea, so no one could compete. 
He then went to Inter Milan, arguably one the, they were one of the best teams in Italy if you look at that team. He then went to Real Madrid, another great team. He's at Manchester United who finished fifth last season. He's going to struggle to work with players like Carrick, Rooney, who else is there? Daily Blind, Herrera, Mata. It's a completely different personnel. On top of that, you've brought in Zlatan, 34. Pogba, me personally, after watching him in the Euros, and I don't think Man United are going to do that well. I don't think they're going to do that well. Seriously, I don't care about this Lads, Pogba deal. I mean, hashtag United. Where are they going to finish? But Pogba is a great signing, a fantastic signing. So please let us know what you think Paul Pogba will bring to Manchester United. Are they, is he worth 89 million? Paul Man's Gritch. Is it, ooh, I like that one. Mata looks like he's leaving. Donny came on as a sub and went off in the last minute for Mkhitaryan. It was then said that the reason why he was coming off and Mkhitaryan was coming on is because Mkhitaryan was taller and they couldn't deal with the long throws. And yes, I'll admit, the Donny throw in that ball, it basically was a corner. I think Mourinho just doesn't like Matter one bit. Do you reckon he's out? Yeah. Leave a comment and let us know where you think Matter would go. Will he stay in the Premier League or is he saying, you know what, big man? I'm going home. In Spain, I weren't treated like this. Galatasaray want to sign Man United midfielders Bastian Schweinsteiger and Antonio Valencia. Both 31 will pay 4.25 million for the pair. That's decent. But it's the Daily Star saying this, and I mean, how reliable is the yeah. Daily Star? Yeah, like, scrap that. Well, the next one's from the Sunday Express, and it's uh, about apparently Man City have lowered a 27-year-old Wilfred Boney's asking price and will accept bids of around 13 million for a striker they signed 25 million for. That one could be true. Hashtag I am from, this week has been mental. You guys have been going ham. I am from Slovakia, dab. I am coming to you from Panama, but I am from the six, that squat. Presented, presented a Vooge looking Western Australia with a bucket hat, bang. Molbeck, I'm from Munich, bang. Austro Norway, Valerango, this is Rosenberg, is a mad looking swaggy. Next one, I am from Newcastle, England. However, it's not a photo of you, so please send a photo of you. I will not be able to put this on a wall. Scrapped. Squatting in South Africa. I am from Skopje, Macedonia, jumping in water. I am from Ireland, balancing a bull on his head. Yo. You guys have tired me out. You see these? I'm gonna put them all on the wall later on. Let's point to the camera as that part of the show where we go. What, what a guy! guy. A Blue 8 News says, what a guy for let's say he's chairman for buying 19 players, the new BMW i8. Um, I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that. I'm gonna point to the camera. No, let's point to ourselves and go, what a guys! Poet and Vooj for unveiling the Bayern Munich team for the 2016-17 season. And that is the whole team. The official unveiling of the Bayern Munich squad was done by me and you. So yeah. from these sofas, we introduced the Bayern Munich team for this season. Chabi Alonso, Frank Ribéry, Neuer, Lewandowski. How you, what are you saying? What are you saying, Lewandowski? Xabi Alonso! Wait, 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 I'll just cut, cut. You guys, if you didn't want to watch the show, it's actually still up on uh, FC Bayern Munich's Facebook. And yeah, give it a watch, man. And thank you for all the love. And you guys are definitely the reason that we are getting to these places. So thank you for the support. Anyway, time to move on to two twos now. It's the remix. Jamie Carragher. Replying for fuck's sake that Gary Neville has rejoined Sky Sports as an analyst. You know what? Gary Neville, what an absolute shithouse. He flopped. You know, that's hard. harsh, man. I think it's harsh, but he gave it the big one. It's when he's that. on Sky Sports, he's like, yeah, you know what? On the iPad, yeah, this, why didn't he do that? Yeah, he should have done that. Let me go. And he goes, gives it a go. He comes back. Jamie Carragher wins. Because whenever like, they were kind of like doing each other on Sky Sports, mm. it was always like Neville was a bit better, kind of like, oh, you know what, Neville is a bit better. Mm. Now, Carragher, if he wants to, every time could just go, yeah, but you got fired twice. Like, you got fired at Valencia. So if he wants to, I'm mm. saying in, the, in their little beef, Carragher, Carragher's just like, they got Gary one over goes, him. I did, and then he goes, if anything, you could you look into my house to look at my trophy cabinet. Yeah, could do. Got them Hotspur, the new kit, uh, here's a vine. <laughs> Next one! One second, one second, one second, one second. We can't move that fast. What kind of fucking plonkers are you lot? Dembele, what is this? What kind of hotline is that? That's the coldest line I've seen in my life, man. I'll do weird wear it. Your hair looks terrible. And who's that guy in the middle? Yendelin or whatever the hell. What the hell are I you doing? I'm a bit of bands. Dickhead! What a big head! Tony Xia. Aston Villa's chairman has reacted to Ian Holloway's predictions and he has absolutely 
killed him. A failed player, Oof. failed manager, Oof. and now fucked the pundit. Don't bother reading it at all. It's because he's failed at all of these, now he can't read. Everyone, make sure you leave in comments about everything you see on social media, everything about football, because this week, the Premier League is back the holy on week. a mad take. It's the Holy Week! The Holy Week! Do you not understand? The next time you see me and Vooj on comments below, we'll be talking about Liverpool Arsenal happening at Emirates. What will happen? I genuinely believe in the next week, if I don't see a centre back come through that door, big man, it's going to be embarrassing for Arsenal. So, a special moment. A special moment? I'm just, this is my special moment, and I'd like to dedicate it to Sandals. Free defeat, fam. Bro, it's not fair, right? Like, feet. We always wear socks, we always wear shoes, we suppress our feet. Like, they carry us throughout our whole life, and we always cover them. Like, I feel sorry for feet. I think feet need more love. Hashtag feet, feet's matter. Hashtag feet's matter. That's my special moment. Just I wanted to talk about feet. That's it.